Are you taping me? Yes, sir. Go. All right. Should have fixed your hair first. Yeah, I know, right? It's probably like covered with like whatever <laughs> was his video crawling right in the back of the I know. truck. <clears throat> this is for my blog. This is our. Uh, we've got the truck out. Had a little bit of problem with the clutch to the effect point where it doesn't work, so we had to push the truck out. So we're just gonna go through it and see what needs to be fixed. Starting off with the hood. There's this nice. Um, I don't know if you can see that in the camera. There's kind of a, a nice divot here where it's like, I guess somebody drove up under something. Right here is where I stopped grinding it off because I was, you know, getting kind of discouraged at what I was finding at the, at the time. So we got some, you know, needs the paint work on the hood. On the front, this is a common area for these trucks to be rusted out, so we're going to have to weld in some new panels here, here. And, uh, yeah, you can just tape all the way along the front there. <coughs> Now all this stuff is kind of bolted on loose. So we've got this front, this front, uh, I guess this is the grill support. Uh, it's got a chunk missing out of it down here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's um, it's in my blog, so you can look it up. So yeah, all this stuff needs to be sanded down. This is actually still pretty sound. <clears throat> Same with the bumper. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the side. Uh, up in here, this secondary piece is, is rusted out. Uh, I've got it's pretty solid through here. We've got a little bit of rust issue in here. Same thing on the other side, except this piece is significantly worse. And we've got this hole down here. Wherever two pieces of metal come together like that in the original, you know, where it's originally made, will act as a water trap and it'll sit there and, and rust out. And that's exactly what's happened here, here, and several other spots. Let's take a look at the engine. <clears throat> right now, running off of this gas tank, the original gas tank's in the back porch because it was so full of rust and stuff that every time I started, it would plug up the fuel filters and we'd have to start over. I'm, we're gonna pull this engine out. <clears throat> we're gonna put all new seals on it, probably give it a valve job once we get it put back in. I've got a new chrome valve cover on it. Gonna replace the, uh, the distributor cap, if not the whole distributor. <clears throat> See how we've got wires just kind of running willy-nilly around here and not really going anywhere. Like there's some some blank wires around here somewhere. I've got an entire new wiring kit, but that's going to be that's going to be significantly down the road. <clears throat> you can see right here we've had a bit of evidence of a leak in the radiator. I haven't ha haven't lost any fluid or a significant amount of fluid for a long time, but we may uh, may end up replacing that as well. Uh, about three or four years ago, Mike and I did this, did a complete brake system from the master cylinder. All new lines all the way down to the wheel cylinders. <clears throat> new drums, new shoes, new hardware. Uh, I may turn this eventually into a split system where it's it's got the, uh, the proportioning valve, so you've got the front and the rear brakes. So if you lose your brake fluid in one, you're not dead. <clears throat> um, down here, the shift linkage is kind of wonky. There's probably pieces missing. I don't know what this... Uh, can you actually see that in the camera? Yeah, you can. That's good. And you've got this... Uh, I don't know. It's obviously a custom-made piece that's kind of ugly. Here are, your, here are your shift linkage arms, which you can see are not connected. Uh, we converted this thing into a three on the floor several years ago after something went horribly wrong with this one. I can't remember what it was. Oh, that's right, the handle broke off. That's that's when we did that conversion. Uh, carburetor leaks a little bit right down here. Gonna do a carburetor rebuild. That's uh, where we hit under here, and then whatever's wrong with the clutch. I have another uh, transmission on the back porch that came out of the parts truck that we're probably going to uh, swap out. It's a Saginaw 3 speeds. Got synchro mesh, which is a Nice step up from what's here. Let's go ahead and take a walk around this way. Whoa! Here's some fenders. <laughs> uh, this fender, let's see if I recall correctly, this is the one that came with the truck. I don't even know if it's original or not, but this came with the truck. It's in pretty good shape. Uh, I guess it's not so good down here. Got some rust bubbling here, so we're going to have to. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of bent back a little bit. So it may, that may have been from the accident. The door, we've got the door here. It looks like we've had a significant amount of trouble here. 
So that's gonna that's gonna take a lot of work. <clears throat> the windshield leaks around the edges. I don't know from where. We're just gonna pull it out, replace the seal. Uh, when we pull it out, we'll fix all of this stuff up in here and up underneath whatever's in there. Probably replace the wiper arms here. Like I said, all this stuff is just kind of sitting on here. <clears throat> Coming over to the door. The door is reasonably solid, except check this out. I don't, I don't know if you can get a good view of what I'm about to do here, but the door has a whole lot of play to it. Come on over to this side. Because what's happening is actually this whole piece right here this this uh, pillar right here, there's nothing. There's like nothing there. So it's like the whole thing can just kind of flex and move. So when we go to when we go to fix this, we're going to we're going to use this line right here. Since this is the only piece that's actually still solid, we're going to line up the door to this line, and then we're going to repair everything else to that line to make sure our door fits. We'll come back to the interior in a few minutes. Uh, this rocker panel is no more. I don't know if you kind of shoot down through here. This is the uh, this is the inside of the rocker panel, right here. Not not good. <clears throat> Again, this is another common rush problem for these trucks. I've got big chunks of bondo in the house where somebody had just kind of <clears throat> stuck this whole thing together. <clears throat> Uh, moving on, I'm going to replace this whole bed. This is the bed off of a 68. Don't, don't get too far uh, yet. And let's take a look at the uh, suspension now that we've got, got everything out of the way here. Uh, uh, this, is the, this is the lower trailing arm. If you raise the camera up a little bit, I think you can see a bit better. And uh, this is kind of a double I-beam. We're a double channel put together to make an I-beam and see how she's rusted out right through here. So that's, you know, I would call that, I would call that a problem. Uh, probably a significant one, so I'm gonna either have to replace that or weld some new channels in there. <clears throat> you can, and you can kind of tell from the condition of that, that's really what the underside of this truck looks like. It is really, really quite, uh, quite rusty. Nothing that can't be fixed. So I'm probably, you know, I'm gonna put the, I might be able to reuse those springs. And, are there supposed to be aren't there supposed to be shocks down here somewhere? Hey Mike! Yo! Hey, you wanna come come take a look at this? I have to. I, I I've I've discovered something that I didn't notice before. What's that? Oh no, never mind, never mind. Here they are. I couldn't find the shocks. I didn't think there were any on here. Oh. But they're but they're back there. They're back there. You talking about the springs? No, the shocks. All right, this I've got this tailgate's gonna get replaced with oh, the rest of the yeah, bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, the new wiring kit's gonna come with all. Well, I'm gonna get all new tail lights and turn signals and things. This bumper I'd like to reuse. It's only got it's got some surface rust except right here. This looks like a little bit of damage. Where I mean, I've hit this a couple of times, but <clears throat> it was like that when I got the truck. God knows how many years ago. Uh, so here a little tour. These are the uh, fender, the bed, the bed, and the fenders off the '68. The '66 has a bit of a different look to it, so I'm going to go back to a more original style. And those are the parts you've seen in other pieces of my blog. <clears throat> tires are new, though. Tires are good. Uh, again, got kind of, you know, this kind of thing going on here. Ooh. Like, so, pay no attention to the man behind the rust hole. <laughs> Now, now we start getting into some really weird stuff because uh, the accident, there was an accident, and uh, we had on this side. It looks like since this whole bed just kind of isn't actually attached. <laughs> oh God! Looks like this whole thing came forward, whacked the back of the truck, and then sprung back forward. So, but this is all getting replaced. See this green stuff right here? That's the original color. That's it. That's what was the original color of the truck. I've got these custom cab trim pieces on, but now a custom cab has like this nice piece of uh, aluminum trim that comes back here, kind of splits. You got a nice stripe. This wasn't a custom cab. It's got the small back window. I'm gonna pull those inaccurate. You know, just try to be original. 
This is the door off the parts truck. We put that on after the accident because the old one uh, kind of shortened, bubbled. And unfortunately, the same thing happened to the rocker panel. I don't know if you can tell that this has kind of got a bit of a, a wave to it right through here. But we've got a new rocker panel for here. You're going to replace that. This side of the truck is not as bad as the driver's side, but that's not to say that it it's not bad. <laughs> As long as we've as long as we've run this far, let's go ahead and do the interior. Have this lovely plywood glove box. <laughs> I don't haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. Uh, radio hole. This was down here. Ashtray. Uh, we've got a, a thrift air heater. I've actually got a deluxe heater. I'm going to put in this sucker. Uh, like I said, convert back to a three on the tree from the from the floor shift. Uh, the parking brake doesn't work. I have to make sure I fix that. Here's the here's the lever on it. You see it? In fact, I, that feels even weirder than it used to. Uh, I got some you know some floor problems here. Uh, can you see can you see these holes? Let me get out of here. See the holes in the driver's side there? Oh yeah. Yeah, they're, they're pretty significant. <clears throat> oh my goodness. And so, continue, you know, we've got some problems also up here. You know, kind of some holes. Back here, we've got a little bit of paint kind of coming off, but, you know, compared to everything else around here, that's minor. So... Because this, this, I think in the accident, this whole door kind of, this whole opening kind of shrunk a little bit. And as a result, our door, that's as close as she gets. Actually, that's not horrible, but it's not good either. Again, we've got some issues here, here. Here's a, uh, here's that, uh, is, we were looking at this inside earlier. I'm probably going to um, on the on the suspension. Probably going to put new ball joints in, replace like the tie rod ends, that kind of stuff. Uh, going to do some work on the rear suspension as well. <clears throat> uh, I, that's everything I can think of at the moment. There's probably more that I haven't named yet, but um, this is what we're looking at. So, wish me luck. Good luck.